Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we had been, well, doing some base missions and stuff, and one of them involved growing things. And as you can see, it's been some time since the last episode, so everything grew as much as it could. And I already had the thing I needed to give to the farmer, which was, I believe, star bulbs? Yes, I had plenty of them, so I could just give them to him outright real quick. The star brambles have bloomed, yes? Pass them over for examination. Of course. And only one task remains. <gasps> Yay! This is what I was hoping for, finally finishing this out. I cannot pretend to be a farmer anymore. The overseer has made it clear. I must be as the others of my species are. I must trade, sell, accumulate. But I will make a final meal before I leave, traveler. The overseer requested it. A dish made from Mordag meat, the death element. Go, grow this final crop. Okay. What's the overseer? Okay. The overseer asked for one last meal with me before I go. I must ready myself. Good luck, friend. I think I'm confused. Why is the overseer making you do that? It seems odd. Okay, whatever. I can easily put these in place. And I have plenty of them. And I don't even need to do the harvesting to finish this out. I just need to pull it out of my inventory. It would help if I hit the right button. Oh boy, okay. Uh, where is it? Ah, there we go. And I need to do... It's 25. Whoops. That's not it at all. Okay, so let's go with 50. Split in half. There we go. Now we're good. Jesus. Uh, it's always got to be something. And now I can return to the farmer with it, and we're all very good. Beautiful. You grew it, didn't you? The Mordite root is done. Yes, it is. Let me see it. You have mastered so much of the botanical art, my friend. To see that others understand its virtues, well, it gives me hope. It is a pity you can digest so little of your own produce. But creating life is its own reward, is it not? The farmer has no more tasks for me. They tell me that the contract is at an end, and they will be returning to Gek territory. As they discuss their leaving plans, they watch the ceiling carefully. It is unclear what they are looking at. Suddenly, Hireling Osu grabs me, telling me not to trust the overseer, that their fellow Gek may not even be a Gek at all. They seem to suggest that their food was somehow drugged. But this cannot be true. I've shared meals. I've shared meals with the overseer, and I am fine. They would never do anything to harm any of us. The overseer only wants what is best. A moment later, the farmer stopped speaking. They assure me they were just joking and beg me not to speak of this matter again. You okay? I ask Hireling Osu if they are all right. They claim that they are, their eyes glistening in the darkness of the base. Okay. I, I'm not feeling like myself, Traveler. I, I do not think I should go. Not just yet. Yes, that's right. I will stay. The farmer appears to be refusing to leave, despite a lack of continued payment or directives from the overseer. Spend their days tending my crops, no longer proposing any tasks. They claim they have nowhere else to go. Smile. Smiles back, happy to be here among their plants. Cool. Well, that's done. And Mordite for you. That was what I needed. And that was... How much? A hundred. Okay, I can easily do that. I can easily do that. I was pretty sure I had. Yep. 
Okay. There we go. Do it this way. Because it's easier that way. Alright. And then finish this up. And then gathered. And wait for it to tell me to give it to the overseer. Because that's how it freaking works. There we go. I can see the change in you, friend. You have completed your task, and I have seen the world as you see it. I do not entirely understand what I have done for the Overseer, but they seem once again ready to reward me for my actions. Here, take these schematics. May the things you build always remind you of those you killed to construct them. This got dark real quick. <laughs> this got really dark really quick between the farmer telling me don't trust you because you are drugging their food or something and then this I'm uh, not sure what to think Exocraft Terminal Research station tailored to the needs of mechanics and equipped with bespoke vehicular design software. Hmm. And a geology cannon, which is a large bore projectile launcher, charged with unstable plasma. Okay. Geology cannon. Okay. Build an Exocraft Terminal. Can I do that here? It'd be nice if I could do that here. Oh, I can't. Ow. Am I going to have to actually make a... on-the-ground base somewhere to make that a thing? Ow. Come on. Alright, well, anyway. Collect all of these. If it'll let me. The, the what? Why is it not letting me collect this one? That's weird. That was weird. It's working here just fine. So that's good. Yay. All this collecting done. Fantastic. And we're good. Beautiful. A beautiful, and then we'll grab one of these, grab one of these, and grab one of these. Oh, the other one was dihydrogen jelly. Well, in that case, uh, install today. Where where do I install the technology? Okay, well, let me find out. Oh, it's for the multi tool. Okay. Alright. I'm not going to put it right there, but maybe here will work. The blaze javelin. And uh, this I shall do. Magnetic resonator. Can't I make one of those? Pretty sure I can. Can't I? I can. Requires magnetized ferrite and ionized cobalt. Well, that's, that's easy. That's easy as all hell. All right, and done. Ta-da! All right, we're good. And wowzers. That's a lot of stuff. And I shall put this in my inventory. And how's my tritium? Oh, yeah, I, I, I got it real good. I got it raised up real good. We are good on tritium for a good long time. And I'm going to put this in here. Because I'm intending on moving with the frigate. Okay. Uh, 164. Geez. It's so small. Such a small amount. I get so much more cactus flesh than I do anything else. It's wild. Alright. And we do this. Good. Put this away. Good. 
And we put this away. Good. And then we put that away, which is also good. And then we put this away, which is the last thing I need to do. Ta-da. All right. Installed. Objective complete. Also did a little reorganizing of this area here to make it look better. Alrighty. Which reminds me, I need to check on the fleet I sent out to be right here. Beautiful. Alrighty. Fleet command. Debrief. What we got? Nitrogen salt. Activated cadmium. Activated copper. Units. Nitrogen salt. Salvaged frigate module. Hells yeah. Alright. Superconducting fiber. Units. Dirty bronze. Semiconductor. Geodesite. Units. Thermic condensate. Beautiful. So many good things. Eccentric sewing abacus. Okay, nearly a million credits off of that. Cool. All right. And then I got this. <laughs> Eccentric sewing abacus. Past its prime long before it was entombed, this tool was well-loved during its useful life. A family memento, perhaps, or a novice's training instrument. Eh, could be. Could be all of those things. Could be none of those things. Does not matter. I hit the wrong button. I meant to go here. There we go. And I did not mean to do that. <laughs> that was silliness on my part. There we go. Fantastic. And now we have to move all of this where it belongs. <laughs> oh, this will take a while. Okay. Nitrogen salt goes here. Oh. I have a lot more nitrogen salt than I thought I would. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Um, hmm. Superconductor from enriched carbon. Okay, what needs nitrogen salt? That's what I need to know. Because if I'm going to be making things... Might as well get the right stuff for it. Alright, uh, thermic condensate. There we go. That's not it. Uh, okay, geodesite. We move you to here. Fantastic. And the dirty bronze, we move to here. Bootiful. Alrighty. And I think that makes up everything. These are scientific and advanced construction. Am I in a system that would need advanced construction? That is the question that I don't know yet. Uh, do neural duct, superconducting fiber are both produced locally, so that doesn't help. This is going to sell for decent money, though. Why not? Okay, so these are good for trading economies. These are good for scientific economies. Alrighty. Well, in that case... Um, is there anything here I needed to do? I don't feel like there was. I don't feel like there was. So, building an exocraft station. That's what I need to do next. Well, that's annoying. Alright, um... And then I just need Viking daggers for the, uh, armor. Hmm. Well, let's go and check. If there's suitable planet in my mind to build this little exocraft station. Oh. 
just need to float out a little bit so I get a decent lay of the planetoids nearby. Uh, this one was a... Oh, no. What? No, this was a dioxide planet, wasn't it? Yeah, sub-zero planet. Yeah, that's not terrible. It's not ideal. This was a radioactive planet that I've already been on. Okay. Trying to find all the other planets nearby while also not being distracted by the ships <laughs> around me is a little difficult. What about this? What do we got here? This is an overgrown planet with Starbolt. Also high sentinel activity. Hmm. How is my paraffinium stockpile? How is that? It's not great, but it's not terrible either. So, well, which one is? Which one is terrible? Because there's at least two different places here I can use. Dioxite was meh, uranium was... Uranium's possibly the lowest. Well, no, ammonia and base salt. Uh, base salt, I don't... I don't know what would use base salt the most. I don't think there's much that does. I'm pretty sure there isn't much that does. So, oh well. Screw that. Um, screw that idea. What is... Two weeks ago. Yeah, great. Thank you for dating this video game. Alright, these two are really all that's here. And there's no reason really to worry about that. Uh, cool. So, okay. Alright. There's nothing really worth doing any of this with in the system. So, I'm going to try and catch whatever this random event is in the bottom left corner there. It's telling me something's going to happen. I just don't know what. Of course. Yes, I'm carrying three million credits in cargo. Whoa. Damn. Oh my good golly goodness. Okay. Well, got you. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, got you. Get your crap. I hope I did. Alright. Okay. Get you. And we're done. Beautiful. Sound ship's defeated. Now I can head back to my frigate. Whoop. Or I can check out these ones that are coming in. Do you have anything interesting? No, you do not. Oh, ow. Nothing interesting. Owie. <laughs> You're okay, though. Didn't accidentally damage you a little too much, so it's fine. Your ship actually does not look all that appealing, so I'm just going to head back to mine. Goodbye. Whee! I'm going to try and get it in the right direction. <laughs> there we go. Before I head inwards. That is not what I was aiming for, but it works. up more. 
now that I have the capability of making more. And that brings me down to 2,800 there and 2,500 here. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Perfectly fine. All right. And now we'll get out of the ship. And we'll use the hyperdrive on the frigate to get where we need to go. Which actually, you know what? Since I need to head to Korvac system anyway. Might as well head there. And see what that system has in store for me. That's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. So we're gonna do the idea. Okay. There we go. Korvac system. Rilegs. Rilegs. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Don't matter. Oh, here we go. Cool. First contact with the system. Thank you. And the station's right there. Cool. Fantastic. Lined up right with the station. That means heading out will be fantastic. But first, let me check what the economy is like here. I can't do that from here. But I can see if I can sell some of my good stuff. Oh, damn it. They're produced locally here, too. Balls. What I want to know is what they have available here. Ooh! They have ammonia for sale. Here. Fantastic. I'm okay with that. I need ammonia. And I have credits to burn, so why not? Uh, I'm not going to spend it on Magno Gold. No. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um, okay. Seems good to me. I hit the wrong button again. I'm annoying myself constantly with that. There we go. 202. That's respectable enough. So it sounds like a couple ships flew in here. So let's check out the local ships. The local people. Oh, it's kind of cool looking. Not the colors I like, but cool looking. Not too shabby, though. Not too shabby. In fact, I think I had a ship of the similar shape on my other file. Just, you know, different colors. I'm a slut for green. Alrighty. Beautiful. What I keep forgetting to do. And I'm annoyed at myself for having done this. Again. Is that I keep forgetting to reset my fleet for an expedition. I keep forgetting. I have the capability. I'm just too stupid to remember to do it. Ah, annoyed at myself. More annoyed at myself than you could possibly imagine. Trust me. Whatever you're imagining, I am even more so annoyed. Alrighty. Fantastic. Hello. Yes. Potential expeditions. Let us go and check. Ah. Look at that. Sequinens Circumnavigation. That just requires one of everyone. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give them a chance to upgrade themselves a little. Industrial. Where's my... There we go. Explorations. There we go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with the Marvel of the what? Viking. Marvel of the Viking. Ooh, that's a name. 
Alright. And then a support. But who do I send a support? I guess you will do. Cool. Beautiful. I like this. Fleet rating over the top for the expedition. And we was securing... I don't know. I didn't see the name. Doesn't matter. I have a lot of combat ships. I have way too many combat ships. I probably should cut one of them loose at some point. Or not. You know. Might be a good idea to hold on to a couple. Alright. So that should do it for this mission. Oh yeah, we're over the top for fleet reading. We're over the top. So securing Rockhampt. Or 600 tons of fuel. Yeah, we're, we're good. Actually, you know what? I wonder if throwing in a support will lower that. Not really at all. Okay, well. In that case, screw that idea. And away they go. Fantastic. Alright. That gets two fleets out and going. And I just need to rebuild up my for good fuel for the next go around. All right. And that puts me at 1100 and 1400. I'm a little tighter on that than I used to be. And quite frankly, I'm starting to get a little nervous that I should focus more on collecting the materials. But I'm not terribly Terribly in need. Alright, so let us head to the station like we ought to. I did not expect it to be flipped over. That was a thing. Station to Omega. Space Station Scrap Dealer available. I don't need to do that. Or maybe I do. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Anyway. Let's mark that off so that way I can do that one. And since I'm here, if they give me a freebie, that'd be one thing. Let's talk to the Scrap Dealer. A series of lights flash across the life form's visor. A tingle runs across my scalp. It feels unpleasant, as if my thoughts have been rummaged through. What are you selling? Traveler Entity seeks new places to explore. Such places exist. They float from system to sim system, to system, abandoned wrecks. They can be revealed for a price. Oh. Well, I'm not going to spend five million units for that. I don't have that many units. Besides, I'm trying to... All that space just for a little pistol. Lutin's flex reflex beam. Interesting. Okay. Well, since I'm here, might as well do an exosuit upgrade. Beautiful. Alrighty. And I think I also have a upgrade for the father of the Onjianta. Upgrade. Uh, I do have an augmentation. Fantastic. Beautiful. Away it goes. Haha. -ha. Starship inventory size increased. Beautiful. Alrighty. So now let's go talk to the cartographer. I was about to say. I was trying to do the jetpack and also look around at the same time. A little hard to do. <laughs> that just loaded in. <laughs> uh, sometimes the shenanigans of the game. It's just so funny to me. I, I only just noticed some of the details in the back here. It's actually kind of cool. Like the maps shoved into capsules there. 
all over the desks. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Cartographic entity. Blip of data. Blip from blip blip for use of blip charts. Blip research for all. Corvax history. Once again, I sense Null's presence. If the Corvax feels it too, they do not show it. They begin to speak, their words clear and bright, processed by my unseen companion. The arrival of a traveler is anticipated, but you are not ready yet. We must know that you are one. You are the one we seek. There is an anomaly, a glitch. It is guarded by holes through which the Convergence cannot see. Move through this space. Retrieve that which cannot be retrieved. Okay. Retrieve non-existent data from a what? Non-existent data from a blank source? Huh. Prove your place in the universe to the Corvax. Prove your anomalous status to the Corvax. Okay, well then I guess we can go out here. Retrieve non-existent data from an anomalous structure. The cartographer has marked its approximate location. Return Artemis. Artem? I had a dream last night. You were in it. What about the dream? I dreamt I finally met you and Apollo. I dreamt that we flew together through the skies. That I was no longer alone. I found parts on this. This fabricated planet. Did you leave them there for me? Did you feel sorry for me? It doesn't matter, I suppose. I'm going to build a ship. You gave me a whole solar system. I'm going to see what's out there. Artemis leaves. I do not know if I did the right thing, telling them about the simulation. But for now, my path is clear. I must seek out the Corvax. I must continue my quest for knowledge. Well, so far I'm at least completing that part. It's an unknown planet, but it's not here. What is it? Desolate planet. Huh. Keltoni Hira. Hira, I should say. It's on this planet, which is... A rotting planet? Ammonia. Well, as long as it has ammonia, then I'm pretty happy with it. Ammonia, cobalt, aggressive sentinels. Well, that's going to be a problem. But... Not too much of one. Whee! This shouldn't be too long, I don't think. There we go. Pulse engine disengaged. Just need to land in. And I need to remember to avoid sentinels, because they will be angry at me no matter what. I'm in an ocean area. Oh, jeez. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Okay, well. <laughs> okay. Game chugged a little there. Trying to load in. <laughs> Trying to load in some of the stuff here. Ooh. Sentinel's malicious. Well, I mean. Definitely. Yeah, I appreciate the warning. Okay. Unidentified mineral. Where? Is it in, in the water? I guess it must be in the water. Oh, great. Fantastic. Right when I was trying to scan things. Bastard. Trying to do is scan things. Holy mother of Jesus. Okay, well. 
good thing I can get to the water and get away. Oh boy. Well, that's apparently this direction. Let's get away. Oh, would you shut up the life support tower? Unidentified mineral. Some of the things going on here are actually pretty interesting. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted... Wow, my mining beam is extremely low. Why is my mining beam extremely low? Wait, what? Oh. I thought that said percent. <laughs> I thought the five was a percent symbol. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my brain is breaking as time goes on. Sentinels didn't help. Oh, Jesus, they're right there. Oh, balls. Well, that doesn't help me at all. All right. Just scan things as I go. Just about right. Okay. That's a structure. Pure ferrite and ammonium. Ammonia. Ugh, ammonium. I mean, that's probably, you know, valid enough. Okay. I could probably use more pure ferrite. Joy. Scan these in case they're dangerous. They're probably not. Let's check on that later, though. Right now, I gotta keep scanning things. Pure ferrite, ammonia. Ooh, I see crystal sulfide there. Good. I will scan the things later. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, no. Oh boy. The storm is plenty strong. And it is in this direction. Okay. Get back in the deep here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. I need to stop having this green blur on my screen. Oh, my God. Could you please stop? I can't see anything with this green blur. Could you please stop? Jesus, please stop. Oh, my good golly goodness. I cannot see a goddamn thing. Is it acting like this? I don't need that at all. What is this? I'm assuming another pure ferrite. No, it's chlorine and dihydrogen. Well, hi there. Well, at least I can determine you guys aren't evil. You guys would have been killing me by now if that was the case. Oh. Well, hi there. I, uh, hmm. Interesting. Oxygen levels are critical, huh? Well, she probably, uh... I know what that is. I know what that little thing is. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Here. 
just to get back to this thing. I know exactly what this is. And I'm going to pull out my weapon, because I know this is evil. Though I probably need to lean in to be able to see the evil. Ah! Hypnotic eye of evil. Thank you, merciful Jesus. Anything to get rid of this green tinge. There we go. Beautiful. All right. The other thing that was mildly interesting was a uh, spider that was crawling across my <laughs> game screen. That was something. Perfect. There we go. That's what I need. It's gone now, but it was interesting to see just a small little spider just watching me game. Watching me game, shaking its butt a little bit. It was a little weird. It didn't want to shake its butt as much as it did. All right. Forgotten Terminal. Attempting to read a memory at 0x000FF1A. Access memory. This connection is not permanent. It is merely the start of a new equation. On Corvax Prime, entities who pass on into the Corvax Echoes left their shell for their descendants. So has been the way of the Corvax, an endless carapace cycle that knows no end. This way will continue. It will continue for as long as our lights still shine. So the carapaces are just recycled? And that's how the Corvax live? Interesting. The terminal's message is delivered. It shorts out its strange existence, no longer tolerated by our reality. A small unit aglow with ethereal light is left at my feet. A divergence cube. It's in the shape of the atlas. Interesting. Interesting indeed. scanning in the ocean here. No! I was wrong. This looks to be very dust. This is chlorine and dihydro dihydrogen. <laughs> okay, well. We'd be getting a lot of chlorine in the future if that's the case. Okay. Uh, just making sure I'm not missing anything as I slowly work my way up. Submerged relic. Okay. I slowly head my way up to the surface because my oxygen is getting critical. I think that ends, well, my time on this planet and also this episode. <laughs> Basically, twofer. Yay! All right, well, I'll refill this one with my ship. But for now, time to head on over to my ship and get back to the space station. cube. That is so weird. Alright. Time to get out of here. 
was about to say, have I seen this before? Oh, that was not what I wanted. I want this. Perfect. Get a little bit more ammonia in my pockets before I get out of here. And, like I said, we're going to end the episode. I'm just taking my time with it. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to explore the galaxy and learn a little bit about the denizens within. And quite frankly, I am slightly confused at some of what I found. Corvax are apparently a entity that cycles through their collective consciousness and with that they recycle it through also using the same bodies over and over. That's a little weird. Oh boy. And I need to dive down to avoid that. And Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Who asked for you? Who asked for you? Well, at least it took care of that one. Oh, balls. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, I'm going to need to get out of here real quick. This is going to get crazy. All right. Either way, getting out of here, and then I will see y'all in the next episode. Or you.